Not too long ago, I was talking to my friend Arsu Formani. She is a researcher of artificial intelligence and robot-human interactions at the University of Vienna. This time, we were just talking about photography. And she introduced me to this distinction that she uh, has between the act of taking a photograph, the act of making a photograph, and the act of creating a photograph. Now, each one of these has its own criteria, of course, of conditions that need to be met to qualify. And I won't get into the details because she has a better handle on those than I do. But suffice it to say that at the very least, you can already differentiate between anybody could just take a photograph. But not everybody can make a photograph and, more specifically, create a photograph. And so you might already think of a, some sort of line, some sort of spectrum between taking a photograph, creating a photograph, making a photograph in the middle. Most of us are pretty good photograph takers, right? We take tons of them and then we choose which ones are the best from the thousands that we took. So the more we take, the more likely that we'll have something that looks decent. Now, that's just taking a photograph. Making a photograph involves something like thinking about the framing, thinking about the angle, thinking about the subject, thinking about the photographic event in and of itself. And then, of course, creating a photograph involves perhaps even modifying the environment in such a way that the whole image is fully created. And this led us to a brief conversation of something that I think is going to be crucial and interesting in the 21st century, which is the existence of lensless cameras, which we'll talk a little bit about but also the sensorless cameras that to me are a little bit more interesting. So let's put Arsu's distinction between taking a photograph, making a photograph and creating a photograph to a side and think about how these cameras work. So let's start with lensless cameras. So lensless cameras could be just the kinds of cameras that do, not, that do not require any sort of optic lens that in fact focuses light and then is processed by a sensor in a way that makes sense of an image. Lensless cameras still have a light sensor that just receives light, unfiltered perhaps, no lens, no focus, right, just receives all the data equally upon its sensor and then it transforms that through either machine learning and or other methods into a sharp or sharper image. Now, there's all kinds of research done into this, but it's not clear if, it, if this is genuine good quality images or not. No. There are other kinds of cameras that are not just lensless. Of course, a lot of, there's a lot of interest in lensless cameras because of the way in which you can ultimately compress the operation of extracting an image into something that doesn't require the distance between the lens and the sensor or even just having the density of a lens. In other instances that are slightly more interesting to me or more playful and explorative are the ones that work, for example, by GPS coordinates. You take a picture at a specific corner in the city of Lisbon and because it knows where you're at it draws from most of the photographic data that it has been able to acquire on the internet of that specific corner and it gives you the best and or most popular photograph taken at that exact corner, perhaps even at the very similar angle. What it does, at least in the advertisement, was give you a better picture than you would have taken yourself, right? So if you go and read the actual website, you'll see that the advertisement promotes the fact that you might be a very mediocre photograph taker. If so, this fixes it for you it will just find a random better picture than the one you would have taken. Now, there's an extra kind of lensless camera that I'm also interested in, and this one is a bit more on the generative side, because what the camera is able to do is receive some sort of 
input instructions or prompts such as this is a photograph taken at the corner of this and this avenue where you have the Champs-Élysées in the background and you have the Arc de Triomphe in Paris at dusk, blah, blah, blah. And the camera is able to then send this metadata into a very powerful computing system that can then translate this into an imagined image by the machine. You can translate this into an image generated by artificial intelligence, an image generated through uh, the statistical methods in its model. So now, what is the question here? Why am I telling you about these details? You saw Arsu's distinction between taking a photograph, making a photograph, and creating a photograph. And here I am introducing a kind of photograph that is not necessarily taken. It's not receiving information directly from where it is being taken, although it is, right, to a certain extent, um, it is not receiving direct light, let's say, from the place where it's at. In, in the first case, it receives some light, not through a lens, not through anything optic, and then reinterprets that light signal as a possible image. On the second example, we have something that doesn't even take any light information about the place where you're at, but only coordinates. And then it looks for a beautiful picture taken by somebody else, scraped from the internet, and gives you that as your picture. And this solves, of course, the fact that most of us are mediocre photographers. What about the third one? The third one actually doesn't even take, doesn't even extract and or retrieves a picture already taken by somebody else, but rather composes through the statistical method a novel image of the components enlisted in its prompt to the best of its descriptive ability. So the question here for Arsus' distinction and for all of us that are dealing with these novel methods in artificial intelligence, in art creation and generation of synthetic data and all of those things, the question for us is what does this consist of in terms of an image? Is this making a photograph? Is this taking a photograph? Is this creating a photograph? Or is this generating a photograph? And how different is generating from extracting a photograph? Anyway, something that I've been thinking about.